In this video, we will attempt to answer questions about God, who he is, what is his nature, and how we can access him. So if you're ready, then let's go. And welcome back to Morning Meds, where we meditate on God's word in order to tackle everyday issues that we face as Christians. And remember, if you like Morning Meds, like, share, as well as subscribe so we can make it through this together with the help of God. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your awesome power. We thank you, God, for your bigness and your greatness. We love you. We bless your name. Forgive us for the wrong that we've done, said, and thought. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who died, who rose again who took our sins on to him for our sake. We love you, God. Thank you. Bless every household represented. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God is neither male nor female. God is a spirit, so he possesses no human traits. We were made by God, and without God, nothing was made that was made. So, who is God? God is the creator. We see in Genesis 1 and 1 that God created. We are humankind. We were created by God in his image in order for us to have a relationship with him. So who created God? Well, no one. Genesis 1 and 1 also says in the beginning. See, time has a beginning and an end. So God is eternal. He's outside of time. Isaiah 40 and 28 says, have you not heard? Have you not known? The Lord is everlasting and the creator of the ends of the earth. The ends means that it starts and it stops. So what's God's nature? We see through scripture that God's nature is eternal. Attributes of that nature are omnipresence, omnipotence, and omniscience. Omnipresent. God is everywhere. In Psalms 139 and 8, King David says to God, even if I make my place in heaven, you are there. If I make my place in Sheol, which is another name for hell, you are there. And we also see in Jeremiah that there are no secret places for us to hide from God. Omnipotent. God possesses all power and potential. He has no limits. In Revelations 19 and 6, we see it say, Hallelujah, for the Lord omnipotent reigns. Omniscience. God has unlimited knowledge. We see in John chapter 3 and verse 29 that God knoweth all things. He knows all the big details and even the small ones, even down to the number of hairs on your head. Even the edges that you done lost, girl, okay? He knows your past, he knows your future, and he knows the purpose for your life. So how can we access him? Firstly, we access God through his son, Jesus Christ, who says that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father, God, but by Jesus Christ. Also, we access him through his word, as well as through prayer and meditation on his word. You can go forward knowing that no amount of information that you can read can suffice for the actual presence and power of God in your life. You owe it to yourself to begin your search of the true God, the creator God. There is no one else like him. God has made it possible for us to have a relationship with him through his son, Jesus Christ. And if you can openly declare and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, you are saved. 
and you are now ready to begin your relationship and the search of God so that all these things of the kingdom can be added to your life. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all that you've done. You've been so great and kind, and we love you, God. We love you, God. We ask you, Lord, to show yourself to us in ways that no one can even explain. No word could ever define what we've experienced with you. We thank you, God. We trust your plan. We commit our ways to yours, God, because your word says that our ways will be established when we commit them to you. We love you, Lord. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.